Hey there Pokemon fans, Reuters here with another deck review video. So in this video I'm going to review the Enchanted Echo deck. It is the first deck that I purchased from the uh, new set, the Furious Fist set. But when I came to this uh, deck manager screen, I realized that I have this Mental Might deck. Uh, which I believe... I, I didn't purchase that. So you probably have this as well. I believe that they reward it, just like those decks here to anybody who is awesome like me. So that's why I probably that's probably why I have the mental might deck because I'm awesome. Check if you have this mental might deck as well and if you do, that means that you are awesome. If not, I'm sorry, you have to become more awesome in order to get it. Maybe I will create a guide how to become more awesome in order to get mental might. But the purpose of this video is to review the enchanted echo deck. And um, yesterday I uploaded the full recap from the Pokemon uh, Flash Fire Booster Box opening series that I have. And I didn't upload the Furious Fist Booster, bo booster Packs opening because I have not yet received my booster box. Um, it is on the way, the seller is sending it to me, so next Monday I will have the very first Furious Fist video, so make sure not to miss this video. Also, um, the Wednesday, uh, uh, Thursday, thir the upcoming Thursday, I'm going to upload the full recap from the Pokemon Online uh, Flash Fire Booster Box. So no Flash Fire, no uh, Pokemon Online Furious Fist uh, packs opened on Thursday as well. But next Thursday, I will upload. Pokemon Online Furious Fist pack openings. But enough of all that stuff, let's review this uh, deck. And this is, for now, my favorite deck. And let's go! We have Selmet, which evolves to Axel Gore, which is a pretty good Pokemon, I should say. For Just for an uncommon, it's good. If you evolve, uh, uh, Raid is a good attack, actually. If this Pokemon evolved from Selmet during this turn, this attack does 40 more damage. So it is a 20, it's, it is a 20 damage attack for one energy that can deal 40 more just for one turn. Not the best, but not so bad. Has zero retreat cost, which is crazy, but look at Selmet's retreat cost. That's very awkward. 3 and uh, Axel Gore 0. I believe that it has something to do with that um, lightning here, so it is extremely fast, I guess. And uh, with after might strike 40 damage and has a chance not to get damage the next turn. Pretty good, I should say. Pretty good. The only bad thing is the 90 HP, but who cares? Eevee. Eevee is the theme of this deck. It is awesome. <laughs> I like Eevee and evolutions very, very much. Uh, when you attach a basic energy card from uh, your hand to this Pokemon, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon that is the same type as the energy card and put it onto this Pokemon. This counts as evolving this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So basically guys, it is extremely awesome. You know, it is extremely awesome. I mean, it evolves... <laughs> It evolves first turn, no problem with that. If you go second, you evolve and then uh, instantly um, attack. You can instantly attack, which is extremely awesome. And <clears throat> I don't know, just fetch out the EV uh, evolution without even uh, having to use an ability from Eevee is awesome, awesome. So the evolutions are Sylveon and Lithion. And I believe Sylveon is the best one. Uh, and Lithion is good as well. Uh, the only drawback for both Sylveon and Lithion is the 90 HP. Guys, it is extremely low, trust me. I had huge problem, huge problems dealing with other Pokemon cause of, because of the 90 HP. Most of the Pokemon could one-shot me, but Curly Ribbon, or Ribbon maybe, is extremely awesome. 30 damage for one, just one energy, which you get uh, to EV anyways. Uh, move in, uh, 30 damage and move an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon to one of his or her benched Pokemon. So basically, 
you you have a let's say a water type as your opponent's active Pokemon, and you trans transfer this water energy to a fire type Pokemon, and both the active Pokemon has no energy, and the benched Pokemon has a useless energy. So that's crazy. That's extremely good. It's not so good against mono um, mono typed. Uh, opponent decks, but still a very very good way to prevent some damage done to Sylveon until you get to the point of uh, using Echoed Voice, which is for 3 energy, 50 damage, and the next turn that you use it, it deals 50 more damage. That m means 100 damage, 100 damage for 3 energy and nothing as a requirement but to have used Echoed, echoed Voice the previous turn, which is okay I guess, it's not so hard to deal with. Weakness to metal, which is not relevant most of the times, resistance to darkness, which is extremely awesome, it is extremely awesome, so many Veltal decks out there, and retreat cost 1 makes it very very cheap to save uh, Sylveon, just in case that you need to save Sylveon. Sa pretty much the same things with Lithion, it evolves if you just equip a attach maybe a uh, grass type energy you, um, with smoothing scent 30 damage and your opponent's active pokemon is now asleep no coin flips nothing just asleep uh, this is a good attack it relies more on coin flips which is okay but still still a good uh, evolution of uh, eevee uh, and with uh, three energy magical leaf 50 damage plus 30 more and heal 30 damage from this Pokemon if you flip heads. I don't like that so much. It, it is quite weak. 80, 80 damage with a flip coin for 3 energy, I don't know. I don't like this so much, but uh, Smoothing Sand is decent and I don't know. It's a good card. Not It's not bad. I cannot complain, seriously. Weakness to fire, okay. Uh, we cannot ask very much from a grass type Pokemon. The only problem, as I told you before, is the 90 HP. Let's keep going. Tornadus is our third rare from on this deck, and <laughs> what impresses me mo the most in Tornadus it is its extremely low retreat cost for a normal type Pokemon, and the resistance to ground to fighting. Usually, normal type Pokemon has a weakness to fighting. Tornadus has a resistance, and that's awesome. And with two colorless push down, 20 damage, you may have your opponent switch his or her active Pokemon with one of his or her bench Pokemon. You may, you may. That's very good. Not being, uh, not uh, having two switch. And Twister Throw, 60 plus damage. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, opponent this attack does 60 more damage. And I'm going to skip to um, trainers right now to show you the combo of this deck. Just take a look at this trainer. Draw cards until you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent. So, that means that you have to have less cards than your opponent has. Use um, battle, uh, battle Reporter, use Battle Reporter and then deal 160 damage with Tornadoes, just like that, simple and straightforward, boom, 120 damage, just because you have the same amount of cards in your hand as your opponent, as your opponent does, and most of the times you can, you know, um, use a potion, I don't know, uh, attach an energy that you wouldn't, or use a, uh, evolve a Pokemon, bench a Pokemon, and reach your opponent's um, hand size, which is not so hard to happen if you have more cards than he or she does. Let's move on. Slackoth, uh, <laughs> double colorless for both active and your uh, both active Pokemon are now uh, asleep. Uh, there's no reason for this Pokemon to appear on this deck, uh, but to evolve to Vigoroth, which is okay, I should say, okay, maybe, with one energy, just scratch, he uh, scratches you a little bit, and that scratch is so strong that deals 20 damage, and Reckless Charge, 70 damage for 3 colorless energy, 
Uh, flip a coin, if tails, this Pokemon does 20 more, 20 damage to itself. Not a good Pokemon, I don't like this, I don't like this, basically. Clefairy evolves to Clefable, and that's a good Pokemon, I should say. For one, switch one of your opponent's best Pokemon with your opponent's active Pokemon. And for two, Moonblast, 30 damage, and during your opponent's next turn, any damage done by attacks from the defending Pokemon is reduced by 30 damage. So it's a slowly, slowly, uh, a slow process of putting damage counter in your opponent's uh, Pokemon. You can use Moonblast for how many times you want to until you get your opponent's Pokemon close to death, then switch and repeat the process. And in this deck, you cannot combo that, but I don't know, with a. Uh, how it is called? Um, I believe a Dasknor? Yeah, I believe Dasknor does that. You can move the damage counters and knock out Pokemon, but not in this deck. This is not so good in this deck, but it is a win condition sometimes. Bellsprout evolves to Weeping Bell, evolves to Victory Bell, which is our third, uh, fourth and final rare in this deck. And this is a very good card, actually, guys. Uh, 100 HP is very decent for a two-stage Pokemon. It's okay, I should say. Uh, wafting Scent. That's awesome. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a Grass-type energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. Wow. Can you imagine this with Virbang? Wow. Just... Poison without requirements, just one grass, every grass type, every grass type energy you have turns uh, to a hypnotoxic laser. Actually better than a hypnotoxic laser because confusion deals damage if uh, your opponent flip tails. And for for uh, three color, for three energy, deals 60 damage and heals 30 damage from this Pokemon. I can see this Victory Bell playing on competitive constructed, constructed decks easily. Easily. Having Hypnotoxic Laser for just one Grass type energy, wow. Way too much. Awesome card. Uh, Noibat, just a filler. Shroomies, same thing. And then we move to the um, trainers. We have Professor's Letter to... Oh no, we have Maintenance first. Shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck, then draw a card. It's okay. Sometimes you just desperately need a card draw, and this card can do it. Also, you can do this to uh, have the same amount of cards as your opponent does. I don't know. Just figure it out. It is a okay card. Battle Reporter, I talked about this card l uh, before and what's going on? Okay, uh, <coughs> we have Professor's Letter to f just fetch two energy, roller skates, um, draw three cards. I always flip tails on that. Potion, two potion, I believe. Um, just heal 30 damage from one of your Pokemon energy suites. Pump your victory bell actually with grass type energies and maintenance. I told I spoke about that. Um, let's check how many we have eight. Um, furry and 10 grass type energy so 18 I believe that's okay 18 maybe a little bit more than it should but yeah so that was the deck review guys please make sure to tell me in the comments below what's your opinion about this deck I find this deck being awesome um, make sure to check tomorrow's playtest video with this deck and next week I will review the other deck from the furious fist set and until next time, take care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys, take care, see ya.